Welcome to Elector Online. Another way of looking at entropy is in terms of probability. What is the likelihood of an event to occur or a system to be in a particular state? Before we show you a numerical example, a more concrete example numerically of how to calculate that, let's take a look at this. Let's say we have 10 coins and we know that a system always tends to move towards a more disorderly state. But what does that mean for having 10 coins? Well, if we were to toss the 10 coins up and watch them land, what is the probability that all 10 of them will end up being heads or all 10 of them will end up being tails? Well, that probability is relatively small. It's much more likely that five of them would be heads and five of them would be tails. But that doesn't mean that will happen all the time. There'll be different combinations. But the likelihood of them being the same number, 5 and 5 versus 6 and 4, or 7 and 3, or 8 and 2, and so forth, is more likely than any other combination. Now, what that means here is we have some sort of graph like this, which shows that we could have on the bottom, we have the number of tails, but here we have the combination, right? We have 0 tails, 10 heads, or 10 tails, 0 heads, and so forth. And notice that the probability of you having 0 tails and therefore 10 heads is not very big, as well as when you have 10 tails and zero heads. But it's much more likely to have five heads and five tails, so the probability of that situation is much higher. And so nature has it such that things tend to towards that more likely scenario, that more likely state of the system. And the state of the system would be the most disorderly state is the most preferred system in nature. And so that is the most disorderly state, having five of one and five of the other. So we have the highest probability, that will be five and five. It's the highest disorderly state, and it's therefore the highest entropy. So entropy is unassociated with the tendency towards a disorderly state, and the more disorderly the state is, the higher the entropy is. And we'll show you some numerical examples of how to calculate that. But that is the foundation of the concept of entropy and probability. And that is how it's done.